All right, so now we're going to add a beginning intro that's going to have a title that comes on to the screen. And we're going to do that through a new tab. So we're, this is the first time we're going to switch over to a new window for editing here in Premiere. Go ahead and pick a video that you want. Um, switch over to your project and pick... I'm going to pick a B-roll shot here, drone shot, get this here, pick a, pick a, pick a, pick something, we're going to do this, and we're going to drag it on to the timeline, like this. Now we've got the drone shot here, and it's going to be zoomed in, I'll show you later on how to fix that, but go ahead and... Go to the graphics tab up at the top it says graphics this is where you're going to add titles and all sorts of things like that you'll notice that everything is shifted over and changed no longer do you see your video tracks on the left you see your media browser uh, effects and all sorts of other things info about the video track etc now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the right where it says essential graphics and we're gonna go to the browse button and this is going to have all of the preset titles that you can choose from right here you've got essential graphics and then there's libraries that you can you can browse if you've added those just go to essential graphics and it's gonna have some presets here you've got a news package sports package video game package these are just all presets um, so what we're gonna do this is going to be an intro title we're just gonna go to titles and this is gonna have basic intro titles that are simple and not to they don't scream out in your face these are something that you can just kind of mess with in the beginning and then go through the uh, rest of the titles and choose one that you like by doing you can do that by going to this drop down here and go to choose folder again and you can pick each individual folder here but if you want to see them all again click this top one and it'll take you back where you can view all of the different ones you can see here there's some pretty crazy ones that they have going on pretty neat uh, let's go back though to your regular titles and let's choose bold title I don't know Go ahead and click on it and drag it right onto the video track. Now you're going to want to drag this. This is going to be on top of your video. Don't put it on below or, on or directly on it. You want to put it on a video track that's above it so that it will be on top of your video. Now you'll see it's already got some words in there and you're going to want to change those. So how do you do that? Well, go ahead and click on your new title and to the right you'll notice that things have changed by clicking on each individual thing you'll notice in the middle here the window automatically selected your title and the letters um, there's a couple ways to do it you can select the frame and adjust it there but um, you, you may just want to click directly onto the screen and that's a reaction most people have and you can directly highlight your text on here as long as your title is selected you have to make sure that you go down here and select the title first but then you can go on to your title uh, right here on your pr preview screen and double click on here and start highlighting and deleting and changing the text directly on here so you don't have to uh, find it over here on the right and figure out what's going on. Uh, we're going to change this to something. Just change it to anything. I'm going to say video intro. Just to be simple. Now from here, you can change a lot of different things. You can change the size of this by the, using the align and transform tab here you can align it around to center it up 
Um, but what you have to do is you have to make sure it's selected. And then you can move it around. Like so. If I move it over by accident, let's say I move it over here. And I want to align it to the center again. I can use this button here for horizontal center. And it's going to align it right back up to the middle. These are two very useful tools that you're going to use. Because sometimes you might accidentally click on it and, and move it around or whatever. And you, you want it to go back. Uh, just click on these buttons right here. I'll show you again. Just uh, as a demonstration. I moved it. Oh, shoot. What am I? How do I make, make this go back to the center? Just click vertical center and horizontal center. And that'll align it back up to where you need, need it to be. If you want to make this bigger, you can drag this scale right here and make it real big. Or you can make it really tiny. It just depends on how you want to do your title. Um, you can skew it too. Um, you can change the anchor point. There's lots of things you can do, but most people will want to change the, the text in here because they want a specific style of text. Um, there's a text piece here, but you will want to make sure that you click and you highlight the text you want changed and go to your text drop down box to the right. And you can scroll through here and you can preview all sorts of different um, texts and just click on them and see the different styles. Each style, depending on the text, well, it may have um, extra styles underneath it. Most of them will have regular, italic, bold, etc. But if you go to a more advanced style, let's say um, a style that you've installed, like I've got industry ink here, this uh, text style has a base style as well as a 3D style a bevel style, um, inline style, all sorts of different things. Outline, you get the idea. Now with this intro, you can apply all sorts of effects just like a regular video track. So if you want to fade this in, you can do a cross dissolve and fade in uh, the intro track here. <laughs> and it's, it's got a little animation, so... Uh, you can actually mess with that animation speed and everything. Um, but this is just the default. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make one from scratch and some techniques you can use to make it stand out uh, and not get mixed into your video so that you can clearly read the text without it being blatantly obvious that you've done something to your text to make it that way.